Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. Here in Central Florida, Zone 9B, we struggle with all kinds of pests, from mealybugs, aphids, caterpillars. We even get a lot of mold, fungus, mildew. So I wanted to show you a few things I do to control these issues around the garden. So I want to start off by showing you what a mealybug looks like. They're white, fuzzy, and really destructive to the garden. We used to live a lot closer to the coast a couple of years ago, but we moved more inland and I'm getting many different types of pests I didn't get before. So I have to be very vigilant with treating on a preventative basis. I'm gonna hit this really heavy with some neem oil up in the soil, and then we're gonna treat the leaves to my succulents with the isopheryl alcohol. Let's start off with mixing the neem oil. So I just grab a jug of water, empty out half of the contents. And then I add a little bit of dish soap. And then I add the neem oil. You wanna give it a good shake, 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 shake till it's all incorporated and you don't see any neem oil beads left in there. You wanna make sure it's all emulsified together and that soap is gonna to help to do that. This looks pretty good. I'll show you up close so you can see that it's all incorporated together and we're good to go. Once I mix that solution up really good, I go ahead and add the other half of the water back into my jug. It's just a lot easier to mix a half a jug versus a full jug. Give it another little shake to mix it together. And now we're ready to treat. I just go ahead and water it into my soil very gently, trying to avoid any leaves. If you do end up getting some solution on the leaves, don't worry, just keep it out of the direct sun until that dries and your succulent should be fine. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how I treat the leaves. I just use an Asafra alcohol solution and paint it on there, just like this. So I rub it on there a little bit, make sure I have enough on there, very gently, making sure not to remove any of that powdery coating as much as possible. It's kind of difficult when you're painting alcohol on there because some of it does come off, but um, if you're not rough with that leaf, it usually won't come off too much. So I just go ahead, paint it on there, dip it back in the alcohol solution to rinse it off, get any bugs off of there, and then I move on to the next leaf. I usually dunk it in there in between each leaf. Or if I have like a huge clump of bugs like this, I just dip my brush a little more often. I also treat the pots and wipe off any counters around it. So anything my succulents are laying on, any tabletops I have, I go ahead and wipe the entire um, tabletop or item down with the alcohol because it's really gonna help to keep those pests at bay. After I'm done and I treat the entire plant, I go ahead, put it back in its location once the leaves have dried, and then I just monitor it for the next week or so. You'll know if you got everything because each day you'll see more pests popping up here and there. If you missed anything, you'll see those little buggers crawling back up on the stem. So then you know you can go ahead and treat again. So just continue treating until you see they're all gone. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and treat the rest of my succulents today. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments section down below. I'd love to help you in any way I can. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.